Hey, this is Edwin from Build Electronic Circuits and I'm now in Medellin, Colombia. It's a beautiful place with friendly people, great climate and beautiful nature. I came here to build some electronics, maybe do some workshops, get to know some electronics people and if I can it would be great to bring some electronics people together here in Medellin to build something. I had no idea how, what, where or with whom. So the first thing I had to do was to find some like-minded people. So I did some googling and I found out about this place called Yora Space. It's like it's a maker space in the, in the center of Medellin. There I met Thomas, the founder of the makerspace. He told me that I had been struggling with a bit to get something going with electronics. But he also told me about another electronics guy, Eduardo, that wanted to start something with Arduino. So I was invited to join them the next day. I'm about to visit Yöra Makerspace. And there's gonna be an Arduino club, so I'm gonna visit and see if we can do some fun stuff. Hmm? Entonces aquí tenemos el semáforo, conectamos el negativo a todos los comunes de los LED, el verde lo conectamos a un pin, al pin número 2, el amarillo lo conectamos al pin número 3 y el rojo lo conectamos al pin número 4. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? Yo tengo aquí el interruptor 1, el interruptor de la un cambio. So today I met up with Eduardo and Jefferson at Yora Makerspace. Eduardo is an electronic engineer and Jefferson is a shoemaker. And we decided to, to meet up every Saturday and build a project together and invite more people to join. So what we're going to build is an Arduino robot and I think it's going to be really fun. So now I have to go out and find a platform for the robot so that we can start building it. It's a beautiful day, so I decided to also enjoy a little bit of what Medellin has to offer. One of my favorite things is uh, brick and mortar stores with electronic components and I just went to a store called Didacticas Electronicos and I found this really cool platform that we're gonna use for the Arduino club. So it, it has three levels, it has two motors and it has this tiny little wheel here, it's like a little ball that can rotate down there. So I think this is gonna be really cool. I tried to make an H bridge, but well, it didn't work. So I sat down to investigate. At the end, I found that the voltage drop across the transistors was too big. To save time, we decided to buy an H bridge module instead.
I'm on my way to uh, Yoda now to see if we can get the Bluetooth and the motor controllers working together and see if we can control it from the mobile phone. We made the robot move using an app on the mobile, but it could only spin and we forgot to add a stop function. Next week we continue. So I'm just coming back from the Arduino Club <clears throat> at the week 4. and. Uh, this week we got a new member of the group, we get new members each week. Most important uh, update today is that now the robot is moving forward and backward. Before it was only spinning and it couldn't stop. Now it can stop, it can move forward, it can move backward and it can turn. So that's, that's a good progress. This week I went to a wedding here in Colombia and my friend Jefferson went to Barranquilla so we decided to cancel the Club de Arduino this week. Christmas is coming up so it's gonna be hard to get people to gather for the following weeks. But I have faith we're going to make it anyway. Tonight I'm going out to enjoy the festive spirit here in Medellin. And in a few weeks I'll post the second video where hopefully we'll have a working robot. <laughs>